Hey everybody, today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about silver cups. Silver actually has a really long history of being used to treat infections in ancient Greece and in Rome. It's actually well documented that they used to put silver in their water in order to help make sure that it was sterile and prevented infection. In the 1800s, American settlers would actually put silver dollars in their water stores and in other liquids to help preserve them. So silver has this really long standing history with humans of being used to treat and fight infection and disease diseases. There appears to be these medicinal properties in silver, um, with them mostly being antimicrobial, pro-healing, and anti-inflammatory. So a couple years ago, Silverettes came out with the first silver cups to use for nipple healing. Other products, the silver cups have come on the market since then. Silverettes were really the first pioneering of trying to bring in silver into nipple healing. Um, they are made of pure 925 silver, and it's really important that they are pure silver cups. We actually put silver into wound care bandages that are often used in the, in the hospital. And again, it's a pure silver. You can't have other metal or alloys in them when we're talking about the silver cups for nipple healing. Now they've done lots of extensive research. There is research on the healing properties of silver, which you can find. There was a small study done by uh, Marazu, M-A-R-R-A-Z-Z-U in 2015, that actually looked at silver cups for nipple healing. And in that small 40 person study, they actually did find that nipples that used silver cups did heal faster than the control group where they did not use silver cups. So there is some really good research behind this. Um, now, there are a couple things to be aware of there. There are a lot of knockoffs of these silver cups. So buyer beware if you're buying on Amazon or from a third party other than a reputable brand. They may have other metals in there which could cause an allergic reaction or not actually do what they're supposed to do. So these are the Silverette cups. These are the original cups by Silverette. You can kind of see their shape and contour there. Um, Lactation Hub now also has um, their own Booby Bliss silver nipple cups. And when we compare these silver cups, this is a brand new set just out of the box. When we compare the Booby Bliss to the Silverette, they are almost identical in their shape, in their contour, um, in the depth of the cup. Now these are brand new, these have been used before. Uh, but very similar. And again, these are pure 925 silver. You know when you're getting through a reputable lactation company that you're getting pure silver for those. Um, what you would want to do is this cap then gets placed directly over the nipple immediately after feeding. Silverette cups are great when there is mild nipple damage, meaning nipples are tender and sore. There may be a small crack fine for mild damage. If you have moderate to severe damage, these can be okay, but we're then talking about other wound healing properties for severe damage. Um, these cups, you can put a little expressed breast milk in here to have under the cup, but you do not want to use these with other products. You don't want to use lanolin cream. You do not want to use a nipple balm or butter. It defeats the purpose of the silver. It's the actual silver touching your nipple that has the healing properties to help heal your nipple. So if you're going to use silverettes, ditch all the creams and the balms and the paste and the butters. They're not going to work. Um, that's not going to be good for the silverettes. So you put the silverette directly on the nipple between feedings. Now the advantage of this is these are sustainable. You can get one pair. You can use them across multiple children. Um, most of the time people should not have an allergic reaction to silver, although you know your own body best. Uh, most of the time you'll see that kind of reaction with a knockoff where they're using some other alloy or metal in there instead of just the silver. Um, but these can be used with multiple babies. Um, these could be washed and given to somebody else. They are sustainable for the long term for multiple babies. These are also pure silver. You could take this to a jeweler when you're done, have them melt this down and make some commemorative jewelry to remind you of your breastfeeding um, session. 
Um, the uh, way that we use these um, when you're using them, they do oxidize and can tarnish with time. That's normal, that's natural, this is silver. So normal care for these is you would just use, rinse them with warm water, okay? If you do feel that they're starting to tarnish a little bit, you can take some warm water with some baking soda. Put a little baking soda on your washcloth, okay? Have a little in there. And you can use a little paste of baking soda in warm water to help then clean these cups. They're supposed to tarnish with time. They're supposed to oxidize. So we're gonna use just a little bit of warm water, make kind of a baking soda paste. And you can see that's actually cleaning up quite nicely. Um, so that's how you can care for these is um, rinsing them with warm water after use. And then occasionally if you're seeing oxidizing or tarnishing, you can use warm water. This is just a baby washcloth. It's a nice soft cloth, but I'm just gonna do a little bit of that washing. And you can see um, this is the clean one. This one was very similar. This is the Booby Bliss. Let me get out my other um, silverette. Here's my other silverette. So I've done just a nice little polish on that. Um, I do caution patients not to necessarily be wearing these all day, every day. You can wear them for 15, 20, 30 minutes after feeding. If you notice that you're starting to get a red ring on the breast, you're putting way too much pressure on that silverette. So yes, these are a great product. You can wear them multiple times a day. You can wear them after feedings. I've seen them make a huge difference in patients to be able to heal their nipples when they have tenderness, soreness, or some mild nipple damage. Um, they are expensive. They are worth the investment for many. Do you need to have them? No. They are one option of many options to help heal your nipples. But as we've talked about, there's many pros and cons to using the Silverette cups. You do want, again, Silverette versus Booby Bliss from Lactation Hub. Make sure that you're getting a quality brand, that you are only getting pure 925 silver. Now you know. Are you using Silverette cups to heal your sore, tender, cracked, damaged, bleeding nipples? If you are, here's your friendly reminder to not be using other balms, pastes, or creams in those Silverette cups. It actually defeats the purpose of the cup. It is the 925 Silver of the Silverettes and similar cups that actually help heal the damage. We've used silver-infused bandages for wound care for years in other areas of medicine, and it's the same principle that applies to these. So if you're using these cups, do not use any other product with them other than your breast milk to help keep your nipple from sticking to them. Now you know. I often get asked, how do I clean my silver nipple cups? Usually after feeding, warm water is just fine. They actually disinfect themselves because they're silver. If you want to give them a good cleaning because they've oxidized or tarnished or you want to make sure that they're super clean, you can just take a little bit of baking soda, put it in your cup, and then use some warm water on a cloth to make a little paste inside the cup. Give it a really good rub, rub off all of the oxidation and tarnishing. You can clean both sides and then rinse and dry them. Do not put them in the dishwasher. There is no need to boil them. Um, they should disinfect themselves. And again, these should not be used with other creams or balms or pastes. They should just be your breast milk, your nipple, and the cup. So if you've got a lot of goop in there from using other products, use baking soda, rinse them really well and dry them, and stop using creams, balms, and pastes with them because the silver is doing what it should. The silver will actually disinfect itself. It is antimicrobial, antiviral, antibacterial. So you should not, these should not be a breeding ground of bacteria. Warm water rinses after each use. For more information on silverettes, check out my new YouTube video at LA Lactation LLC on YouTube. Now you know.